Hi everybody, uh, it's Madame Lahuda, and I don't know about you, but I love bananas. I mean, I really, really love them. I eat like two a day, but I like my bananas green. Hold on. Like this. And if they're not like this, I really don't want to eat them. So, what do I end up with? These. Now, I don't want to waste food. So I am going to be baking some banana bread today, and I thought that uh, I would have you guys watch, maybe even bake along with me. Um, unfortunately, as you can see, the video is flipped, and so it's going to be a little hard to read my uh, recipe, but uh, I will read it along with you. And we're also going to work on fractions while we're doing this today. So um, we're going to get started in just a minute. I'll be right back. All right. All right. So we're going to, uh, I wanted to show you what, uh, what all you're going to need to be able to make this banana bread with me today. You're going to need some ripe or overripe bananas. Uh, we're going to be mashing these up. We need about enough to be one and a third cup of bananas. You are going to need shortening or margarine or butter. I like to do half shortening, half butter. You can do whatever works for you, whatever you have at home, whatever you like the flavor of better. You are going to need two eggs. Some brown eggs here. You are going to need some vanilla, a little bit of salt, a little salt guy here. You will need baking soda. I keep mine actually in here. I just happen to have a box to show you baking soda, not to be confused with the baking powder. Baking soda. Um, and then you want your nuts. Uh, you could use pecans if you wanted. I'm going to be using walnuts today. And the last ingredient I'm going to be putting in here is not really a necessary ingredient, but I like it this way. Some chocolate chips. Okay. So, uh, then you'll also need a mixing bowl mixer and you're going to want some loaf pans or you could also put it in a square cake pan and kind of make it like a banana cake um, so we're going to get to work oh my goodness i forgot Two of the most important ingredients, the kind of the ingredients that you're going to have in pretty much every cake or cookie you're ever going to make. I forgot. Hulled ground wheat, which is flour and sugar. We're going to need those for our recipe too. So first thing I need to do here is start heating up my oven. Uh, so that when my batter is ready, I can put it in. So I'm going to set my oven for 375 degrees. And then I need to prep my pans. Well, I seem to have lost track of my loaf pans, but that's okay. Uh, I uh, can use either a cake pan like this. And like I said, it'd make kind of like a banana cake, which is fine. Uh, but what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to use a muffin tin and I'm going to make banana muffins. So to prepare the tin, I need to grease and flour the cups. It's that, or I could use like the little cupcake liners, which I don't think I have any. So when you grease and flour it, it's going to fall right out when it's done. Let me show you. 
I don't like to get my hand all mucky, so I learned this trick from my mom. I take a plastic bag, like for a sandwich, then I take my Crisco. And I'm just gonna kinda smear it in there, in the cup, try and coat it fairly evenly. I don't, I don't want it to be like chunky like this. That, that's not good. I want it nice and smooth, a nice kind of smooth coating. You see that one there in the corner? That's what we're trying to do. Okay, so now there is Crisco grease. Ooh, there's a little too much there. Oop. Now there is Crisco um, around all my muffin parts here. Uh, you do the same thing if you were doing a loaf pan all around the sides and on the bottom or a cake pan. And I'm gonna take a little bit of flour and I'm going to dump some flour in to each little muffin tin. This is where we're gonna to start to get a little messy. Sorry moms, sorry dads. So, I've got flour in here and now I'm gonna kinda of shake it around because what I wanna do is I want to coat all the sides of my muffin tins or my cake pan or my loaf pan, whatever I'm using, with flour. And I'm gonna kind of dump the excess or try to. So I'll end up with, if I can get one, hold on. It'll look something like that. All right, now that's all ready. Oven is heating. Now we can get to baking. <clears throat> so when you bake, it's really important to read your entire recipe through all the way first. Because uh, sometimes you, you don't just always throw everything into a bowl and mix it all up at once. So you need to know ahead of time how much of what things you need, and then you need to make sure that you mix them up in the right order. So two eggs, one cup of sugar, half a cup of shortening butter or margarine, one and a third cup ripe bananas mashed, two and a half cups of all-purpose flour sifted, I might skip that part today, one teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of salt, three quarters cups of walnuts chopped. Oven is being preheated to 375. So my instructions say in a large bowl, beet sugar and shortening together until fluffy. Then <clears throat> I will add bananas and stir. So starting off with just the sugar and the shortening in the bowl together. After that, I know I'm gonna add in my bananas. I'm gonna stir that. And then lastly, I add in the flour, the soda, and the salt until it's blended all together. And finally, I can add in the nuts. So, the next thing we're going to need to do is measure our first ingredients. 